Hey legends, what's up? It's Dark Mech here and today I'm going to talk you through how to tank Adam and the Huntsman. I'm going to show you how to manage shared suffering and the mighty stomps from midnight. Now there's two traditional ways that you will have seen shared suffering dealt with. The first one is to have the groups stack in and soak the mechanic with you. And the second one you've most likely seen is the tank popping a cooldown and solo soaking it. But there is another way to manage this. And that's what I'm going to show you right now in the video as I walk you through this fight. So Adamant moves at 120% movement speed whilst casting the ability Shared Suffering, and this makes it possible to outrange the cast with any form of movement speed like Death's Advance, Divine Steed, Roll, Heroic Leap, Intervene, Infernal Strike, Transcendence, so on and so on and so on. You don't want to start moving though as soon as the cast begins, rather a second to second and a half before it's about to go off and you want to make sure that you continue strafing away. Your DPS need to be aware that you're doing this as well, so they can make sure they move if Adaman moves, so they don't get hit. So here's the Mortal Strike that's gone off, facing Adaman away as always. Shared Suffering about to go up, I pop Death's Advance, move out about a second and a half to go. Strafe clean out, no worries. Now you'll notice the ability gets recast as soon as I move back into melee range. That is going to happen. The good news is the ground phase is locked to a 20 second period, so you only have to dodge generally two shared suffering casts, which Death's Advance is going to be rolling for both of them. You're going to have two roll charges, two infernal strikes, uh, or two infernal leaps, sorry. You're going to have heroic leap, intervene, roll transcendence. There is lots of things. Warlock gateway, as I mentioned, soul shapes, all of that kind of stuff works. You only have to put up with two. And once the 20 seconds on the ground phase finishes, even if Adamant is in the middle of a shared suffering cast, it'll cancel to get back on midnight. So I'm just going to show you this again here. So there's going to be the two casts. So shared suffering goes off. I pop death's advance and I strafe all the way and I keep moving out of this one. As soon as I get back into melee range, shared suffering goes off again and I move out of melee range. So that's the way that you deal with shared suffering. That one gets cancelled because the 20 seconds is up and we're back to midnight. Now, one thing that I am going to mention here as well, just for your, for your sake, if you haven't seen my lower Karazhan video here, is midnight is really easy to predict what's going to happen. As soon as midnight becomes active in the fight and his uh, adamant is on the ground, midnight, all midnight does is move to an area of the, uh, of the encounter space, turn and faces adamant and puts the frontal over adamant every single time. You know where the frontal is going every single time, but it is always going over the huntsman. So nice, easy way to deal with that. Just watch when midnight runs to the end, turns around, you know the frontal cone is going to be on you as the tank, move out of it. Nice and simple. Dodging the spectral waves here, there's always going to be a gap for these, so that's not really a big problem. The last thing that I want to tell you about is the mighty stomp on this. Now, when Adaman dies, you will have uh, midnight will enrage and there will be these mighty stomps that go off from midnight. And what you can do is you can move Midnight to a pole and actually line of sight and avoid a whole heap of that damage. So we're still not there yet. Let me just kite this forward. Here's another wave. We're about to kill Adamant here. So I'll show you one more um, Shared Suffering here. So we'll get one more Shared Suffering before Adamant dies. So Shared Suffering's about to come up now. We had the Mortal Strike. Shared Suffering. Death's Advance. I just move out of the way. No worries. That's how you do it every single time. So now we're on to Midnight here. Now Midnight is in Rage now. Now what you can do is I'm just going to come back so I can frame this up a little bit better. Midnight is enraged here. You can take Midnight to one of these pole locations. It obviously honestly doesn't matter where. The main thing is that your group has a point to line of sight around the corner. So I'm going to take Midnight to here. And now this is a pug. So I do it just so I can show you. And in a coordinator group, you could tell this to your friends or maybe the people would know that you're playing with. But what you can do take midnight to the pole over here when mighty stomp goes off you can just run around and avoid any form of damage from the mighty stomp going on you so mighty stomp's about to go off you can just run around the corner here and take no damage everyone can do that it's really simple to do midnight doesn't move when it's uh, when it's casting the mighty stomp move around the corner take no damage makes that really easy to deal with especially on higher tyrant keys that damage is pretty significant so that is it any questions hit me up in the comments below otherwise thank you so much for checking out the video make sure you check out the channel for all the other tank tips tank reviews everything we've got going on here like comment subscribe i'll see you all next time see you legends